Welcome. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verses 7 through 10. Welcome to Life Journey International. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. Glory to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God bless every hindrance right now. Oh God, I let this person that's right here, right now, listening to the word of God to change their situation. Let them know it's not about you, but it's about God that's working in you. Oh God, bless this person right now. I don't know what they're going through, oh God, but I know that you are you are able to do exceed above all we ask or think according to the power that work in us. Bless us right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Saint Corinthians the fourth chapter, verse 10. But we have this treasure in earth and vessel vessel. That the excellency of, of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For my subject today is not about you, but about God in you. It's not about you. Yes, why owe you? It's not about you. It's about God that working in us. That's why when, when Paul said, but we have this treasure in earthly vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The Bible say that how Daniel had an excellent spirit. Why did Daniel have an excellent spirit? Daniel had an excellent spirit because Daniel was a man of prayer. When you surround your life with prayer, then plain, it be of God and not of us. My friend, it's not about you. God saved you not for you to look cute, but God saved you so you can present Christ living in you. That's the problem we have. My friend, you, do you think God saved you for you to look beautiful? Yeah, the Bible says beautify the meek with salvation. But God didn't save you for you. God saved you to present the world to know Jesus through you. Hey, that's the difference. And and the, and, and Paul say we have we we are troubled on every side. And my friend, the only way you God or Jesus Christ gonna present in us, we are let God work in us and not we trying to work it on our own. Because when God works for us, my friend, he will bring people to Christ. He will bring glory to God, the glory, so we can tell the story about God, how God saved us. So it's not about you. Boo, it's about Christ living in you. That's the difference. The only way people gonna see Christ, you gotta move you out the way. The Bible says, let your light shine. May 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 see your good work and glorify the Father with us in heaven. When people start praising you, my friend, you're taking the glory from God and give the glory to you. No, the glory belong to God. That's why glory to God is not about Theophilus. It's about the God that's working in Theophilus. So I don't want to take the glory. The glory belongs to God because God saved me, not for me. God saved me to present. The Bible says, little bit about say, the Bible says, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto Christ. So Reverend Wonderful might be Reverend down here, but when he stand before God, God gonna say, depart from me, I never knew you. So when Paul, when Paul was telling the Corinthian church, glory to God, but we have this treasure in earthly vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distress. Yes, not, we are perplexed, but not in despair. 
He go to persecute it, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroy. Always, the word always means always bearing about the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life all of Jesus Christ may be made manifest in our mortal body, in our body. So it's five things, glory to God, we must do when Christ working in us. Because it's not about you, it's about God. Number one, Lord, how we handle situation. Hey, glory to God. My friend, When you, how you handle situation is not according to worldly standard, but how you handle situation according to scriptural uh, ingredients. Hey, glory to God. When you're baking a cake for God, my friend, you don't depend on your knowledge but you depend on god knowledge you depend on god to finish the cake so how the hell a situation my friend you go through prayer you search the scripture and you fast that's how you handle the situation but in the in if you were not saved how you handle it you will fight you will fuss and you take revenge but when we are christian we depend on prayer we depend on fasting and we depend on searching the scripture. That's how we handle situation. Number two, how we handle a storm. How we handle a storm, we get an umbrella. Hey, glory to God. But the umbrella we're talking about, how we handle a storm, we go through the storm. We don't, we don't stop at the storm and ask why. Glory to God. Once you are saved, you won't go through trouble. Once you are saved, my same friend, it gonna always rain. But the more it rain, that's why the Bible talk about glory to God. The man that built his house upon the sand, he glory to God. And the man that built his house upon the rock, glory to God. Storm gonna come in your life. Hey, storm gonna come in your life. But the Bible say the man that built his house on a rock, he glory to God. When a storm came, the house didn't wash away. But the man that built his house upon the upon the sand, when trouble came, glory to God, he decided to move to go away and say, I don't want it. Don't take all this, my friend. But I stopped by to tell somebody, my friend, if you are saved, you're gonna be always storm, and that's where you gotta build your rock your house upon the rock so when trouble come you can stand when trouble come my friend whether it rain hard or with a thunderstorm with a hurricane it can stand upon the rock because Jesus Christ is the rock hey glory to God and the next thing my friend how to handle stressful moment hey glory to God hallelujah the Bible, that's what the Bible say the Bible say glory to God but but we have this treasure in earthly vessel that the excellency of God of the power of God be of God and not of us so how to handle stressful moment I'm gonna tell you how to handle stressful. you don't pick the hair at your head you don't take no, you don't pop no pills. Hey, glory, you don't go to the psychiatrist. Hey, glory to God. You don't think people think you are crazy. But the Bible say, my friend, they that keep their mind stayed on me. That's in Isaiah 26, verse 3. Glory to God. I'll keep them in perfect peace who trust in me. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, glory to God, casting all your cares upon him because he care for you. Casting all your anxiety. Christians should not have anxiety attacks. Christians should not have panic attacks because it's just a test. Look at Abraham. Abraham, glory to God. Look, Abraham didn't have a son. He decided to have a son. And, and the Bible say, God told Abraham to, to sacrifice your son. Hey, glory to God. It was a, it's a stressful moment. It's a man that, that want to have a son, my friend. And God said, I want you to take your son to Moriah. And I want you to sacrifice your son. And the boy say, Dad, I saw everything. I see the fire. I see the wood. But where is the sacrifice? And Abraham said, the Lord will provide. And the Bible said, he bought a slay his son. And as soon as he put the knife down, God said, Abraham. He said, here am I. And he looked around. He saw a thicket. He saw a thicket. He saw a ram that was caught in the thicket. What I'm saying to you, my friend, that's why we have an ear for God. Because when we go through 
stressful moment in our life, the Bible says, come unto me, all he that heaven laid in, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn. It's time for us to learn about God. When we go through stressful situation, he making us up. He not building us, he breaking us down, but he building us up, up, up again. So when you go through stressful moment, you have to cast your cares upon him. They that keep their mind stayed on me, I keep them in perfect peace. That trust in me. Amen. When you go through stressful moment, you don't pick the hair at your head. You don't pop pills and you go to you you don't go to psychiatrists. Christian don't lose their mind. Let me say it again. Christian are not crazy. Because we got Christ. If you find yourself going crazy, if you find yourself going cuckoo for Cocoa Pop, that means you gotta go back to the altar. You gotta search a scripture and you just think you have eternal life. Hey, glory to God. Stressful moments. Hey, we should not be stressed because we know the great test in the heavenly best. Hey, glory to God. It's just a test to bring out the best in us. Hey, glory to God. Christ is the purpose why we are safe. Amen. Him stress. I'm too I'm too blessed to be stressed. Ha ah, glory to God. I should not be going crazy. Hallelujah. The devil go crazy. But I'm not crazy. I'm not sane, my friend. I'm safe. Hey, glory to God number four. How we how we handle suffering for Jesus. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you, my friend, how we handle suffering for Jesus. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says when Paul told Corinthians, he said, We are troubled on every side. Every side, every we turn around, we are suffering. We are we yet we are distressed, we are perplexed. But not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Yes, we gonna be get, we gonna be cast down, but we're not destroyed. We are knocked down, but we're not gonna stay down. We are gonna get up because we are Christian. We're not gonna stay down in the muck and the merry, but we're gonna get up and brush ourselves off and say thank you, Jesus. Hey, go to God. Yes, how to handle suffering for Jesus. I'm going to tell you how to handle suffering. The, the Bible says, For much as Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself likewise. He that suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Suffering for Jesus? The suffering for Jesus, when somebody asks you to do something immoral, you say no. Then suffering comes. When somebody tell you to do something wrong, if you do it, no suffering. But if you if you don't do it, here come the suffering. But the Bible says, let not suffer as a as a as a murderer or a busybody in other men's matter, but suffering as a Christian. So I'm saying how to handle suffering for Jesus. My friend, hey, glory to God. Look at that blind man. That blind man was blind. But when Jesus healed him, he said, one thing I know, I was blind, but now I see. And they, and they, and they, 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 they suffer with the blind man. The blind man starts suffering because he said, Jesus did it. He, I was, I'm the man, I'm the man that was blind. Ask my parents. The Bible say he went to his parents. He go to, they went to his parents and say, is this your son? They say, yeah, this is our son. So, but how he's, but how he's seeing? Yeah, he's our son, but how he's seen, we don't know. You know why? Because they want to, they, they love the praise of men and not of God. They want to stay in the synagogue. Because if you, if, you, if you confess Jesus Christ, you will be cast out of the synagogue. What I'm saying to you is listen to me, my friend. Are you going to stand up for Jesus or are you going to stand up for the world? I'm going to stand up for Jesus because when you stand up for Jesus, you're going to suffer. Don't get me wrong, my friend. Suffering for Jesus is pain, but the pain will gain. Paul said, for, for me to suffer, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Hey, glory to God. He said, you perplexed whether to leave or stay. And if I stay, it's to benefit you. But my friend, coming this way, we're gonna suffer. Hallelujah. Coming this way, it's not gonna be ice cream, chocolate cake on Sunday and, and ease on down, ease on down the road. No, my friend, you're gonna suffer because when you suffer with him, hey, go to God, you're gonna gain with him. You're gonna gain with Jesus Christ. 
My friend, glory to God, happy are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Hey, glory to God, come in this way, my friend, suffering for Jesus. Jesus Christ told the church, he told them before he leave, these things are spoken unto you. In me, you might have trouble in the world. In me, you might have peace in the world tribulation. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Come this way, my friend. Hallelujah. You might have, you might have peace in the world tribulation. Be of good happiness. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Come this way. You want to suffer. Hear me? You want to suffer. But if you don't suffer, you will not experience the glory of God. We're going to go through people talking about us. But make sure it's not true. We're going to go through people separating. But make sure you separate from you because you are righteous. Not because you, glory to God, is, is doing something that's, that's bad and don't want to be around you. But when you are separated for the name of the Bible, say, come out from among them and be separate, said, Lord. Touch not the unclean things And I receive you unto myself So it's not about you It's about God living in you Hey, glory to God I'm, Hallelujah I must go, my friend How to, to handle being saved How to handle being saved My friend, being saved is the best the best thing that ever happened to you. Don't get, don't let nobody fool you by saying that save is hard. It's not hard. I'm gonna tell you why it's hard. Because you think God is hard. Because the Bible says my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My friend, coming this way, my friend. There's two ways. There's a strict way and there's a broad way. The strict way is is hard. And I thank God is hard because when it's hard, my friend, that means that God is working on my behalf. When when it's easy, that means they no trouble, they nothing, my friend. Yeah, check your Holy Ghost out. Yeah, check yourself because coming this way is hard. And I think God is hard because the flesh, you fight in the flesh. When you fight the flesh, they're the good thing that work in the flesh. Hey, glory to God. So how to handle being saved? If you've been saved, my friend, you got to stay on your bending knees. You got to stay in the scripture. You got to stay in fasting and prayer. You got to crucify flesh. When you crucify flesh, my friend, you, you bring the best out in you. Oh, glory to God. That's why I tell people, my friend, oh, glory to God, it's not about you, but about Christ that living in you. Let God work in you. When God work in you, you can say amen. So it's not about you it's about god in you let god work in you how can god work in you by you studying the word of god by you praying by you fasting and by you submitting your will to god let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven my friend it's not about you but it's about god that working in you that's all i have to tell you Come this way, my friend. Move you out the way. Crucify. Paul said, when I preach the other, I make myself a castaway because it's not about me. It's about the glory of God presenting to the world. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about it's not about you, boo. It's about Christ working in you. The only way people can come to Christ, you got to move you out the way. That's why we got to dress as becoming saint. We can't be cussing. We can't be swearing. Let your conversation be yay and nay. What if more come is evil? We are representative of Jesus Christ. We are ambassadors. We bring the good news. We bring the good spell. And the good spell is the gospel. It's not about you, but about God that work in us. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, bless this person right now. Oh, God has listened to the word of God from your servant. Oh, God, give them, oh, God, hallelujah, in, in encouragement, oh, God. Give them edification right now. Let them run this race with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of their faith. Bless them right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.